Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the SH figure arts Kamen Rider Forza Fire States from Kamen Rider Forza, obviously. Uh, so, quick look at the box. Uh, Forza style, done in a nice red packaging with green uh, borders. Those are his two colors in this mode. Comes with the spike module and Podichokin. So that's always a fun. Obviously the He-Hat gun. Uh, unlike the other releases, this doesn't come with uh, two modules. It comes with or one module. Not counting the He-Hat gun and stuff like that. So uh, that's a bit of a shame, but the He-Hat gun is a little bit more um, intricate than Billy the Rod was. So I guess it's fairly understandable. So uh, in terms of the figure, it's actually really nice. Uh, I had lots of leg problems with Elex states, but not so with Fire states. In fact, he's actually incredibly tight. Um, nice shoulder joints. These are on a little ball socket. So they are maneuverable, and they can pop right out, so you can lift the arm straight up like that if you want to. And that just pops right back in. So uh, that's not a huge hindrance, and I can't really fault anything uh, in terms of that. Uh, his little chest pieces are all on little tiny ball and sockets. Or, no, they're not. I lied, they're just there. So um, those just plug in the little hooks. Uh, these shoulder pads don't move whatsoever, but the underarm still swivels. Jetpack on the back, same sort of styling going on here. Butt plug. A double joint at the elbow, double joint at the knee. Like I said, really tight joints on this one. And the plastic uh, leg joint that can pop out and stuff for the module switching. So, he's a bright fire engine red color, which makes sense because he's fire states. Um, it's a pretty good fit to the show. I think it's got a nice gloss to it, which is pretty nice, I think. And my lighting is reflecting off his head really weird, and it's giving him bright green eyes. There we go, that's a little bit better. Uh, one interesting thing about the face. And, uh, let's go ahead and get some light in there. Uh... His entire head is made of the compound material. You've got the green compound eyes, and then inside the face region, you've got a nice red, orange, yellow gradient uh, radiating from the middle outwards. And it looks absolutely great, which makes this my favorite Forze figure thus far, just because I think it captures the look of the suit absolutely brilliantly. And so I have to give it props for that. Uh, like I said, absolutely terrific in terms of uh, articulation and nothing particularly being hindered. The only thing hindered is that arm right there, and like I said, this pops right out, so it doesn't really matter at all. So that's always uh, fun as well. The neck is a little bit tight, but once you maneuver it around a little bit, it'll loosen up and give you full range of motion. So um, I guess I'll remedy the blurry first. Uh, and go over the accessories. For hands, we have his one-on-one uh, -on -one pointy hands. He had gun holding hands. And splayed open relaxed hands. Obviously, one white and one red to match his hands. So, yeah. Uh, Potichokin in roid mode and food mode. He's all sorts of cool. I would like to say that he does stand somewhat okay. Uh, he falls over or forward. So he can't particularly stand all that well either. The fries, however, stand just fine. Uh, and uh, of note, there is a scissor switch stuck in his back that uh, does pop right out. So uh, that's pretty cool. He's cast in red plastic, which is pretty interesting. But uh, this little scissor switch just pops right out. And uh, you can't plug it in this one at all. So that's just of note. Uh, he comes with a loose fire switch that I suppose you can shove in a lot of different things. But uh, It is for the he hat gun. It just plugs right in down here. Just like that for the limit break. So you've got that going on. So it's nice that they did include that as opposed to the way the uh, Billy the Rod did it and by including a different piece. So it comes with a fire off switch the fire on switch is automatically default in there a no switch segment for when you're doing the limit break a spike off and spike on so uh, the he hat gun has a lot of different combinations uh, this is the flame gun mode 
uh, where it's a flamethrower. That is the default mode. Now this does split apart. Uh, this side then becomes useless and it's replaced with a different uh, side. This is the energy chamber and then this is the exit tank. Um, this part can plug onto the Forza driver on the belt. You're going to have to move the whatchamacallit a little bit. And this can plug in right here. Kind of like Zolda's. Plug that right in there. And so that can holster in there. And from there you can do the different hoses. So you've got this uh, high press hose. Plugs right in there. And wraps around. And then you take the energy chamber portion. Plug that right in. Like so. And then give him the proper weapon holding hands. That would always be helpful, no? And there you have him using the uh, quench gun or the extinguisher version of the he hat gun. Or you can pop this off of his belt, switch it to the smaller hose, switch this to the other weapon holding hand, plug that in. Position him properly, plug that in, and then you have the extinguisher mode in a little bit of a different formation where it is handheld and he can put out fires and save the day. So I prefer fire states to have fire, so I'm going to keep it in the fire gun mode. So something like that. Now the spike switch goes on the drill leg. And so now that I got his he hat gun positioned how I want it to. I'm going to have to move it. Actually that's not that bad. So plug out the drill switch. Get the spike on switch. That will plug in there. And cause the radar switch to fly out. Because it's a douche. There we go. And then unplug this leg. Unplug the foot. Plug in the spike module. Uh, be warned it is fairly pointy so don't grip it too hard. I don't think it could actually puncture skin but it might hurt a bit. And uh, there we have the spike module on his leg. So here we have uh, fire states in as decked out as you can get right out of the box. So I really like fire states. Um, fire states is one of my favorites in the sense that I just like things that are red. Uh, and I do like fire. So it's a pretty good combination for me. Um, I love the head. The body sculpt's done really well too with the whole armor that he's got going on. But particularly the head sculpt and the compound effect that's in the visor of the head is done really well and uh, that's just something I really enjoy about the figure. I wish it did come with an, another module since um, base states and elect states both came with two modules um, outside of Billy the Rod of course. Uh, so this one only having the spike module is a little bit of a letdown but it balances out by the he hat gun being a pretty nice overall weapon. So I really do like the figure. I'm still not a huge Forze fan the uh, show is still really mad to me, but I do like the suit, and I do like fire states. Uh, like I said, I like red, and I like fire, so what can I say? I enjoy it. Plus, you get a Potichokin, which is cool. So, uh, If you're a fan of the fire states, definitely recommend picking this one up. I see no glaring flaws with it. Jedi Mons had a little bit of a leg problem, so your mileage may vary in terms of how tight your joints are. But uh, mine's near perfect, and I really, really enjoy it. 
So uh, next up is the exclusive Rocket States and the retail release of Magnet States. So whichever one I actually tackle first, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at. So uh, see you next time. You can check out shukenshobi.com for all the latest updates on my reviews and hauls. And of course, check out writersrangersandrebels.com for the latest token news and the craziest way possible. So take care and have a great one. Bye.